Hi, I'm Jenna, and today I'm going to tell you a little bit about the proper fit of a snowboard boot. So one of the first things you want to do when you're trying on a snowboard boot is wear the socks that you're going to be riding in. A good snowboard sock should be pretty thin. It should have a wicking material in it so it wicks the sweat away from your feet. Layering up on socks will not only give you an improper boot fit, um, but it'll also cause you to sweat a lot more, and then the sweat freezes and you end up getting colder. Um, now, when you're trying on a snowboard boot, the first thing to remember is as soon as you go to put it on, it's going to feel really tight. Uh, the padding in a snowboard boot is very thick and it immediately pushes your foot to the front of the boot. Um, so a good thing to do once, you've, once you first put it on is really kick your foot back a couple times. It'll draw your foot back into the, uh, into the back of the boot. And then you'll still probably feel the front of the boot at this point, but tighten it up real good. And then when you stand up in the boot and actually flex into the stance that you're going to be in when you're riding, it should draw your foot right off the front of it just a little bit. And that's really important because if your foot's not touching the front to begin with, um, you're going to, once the boot breaks in, it's going to be too roomy and you don't want that. So toes touching the end, not jammed, not curled over, just brushing the end is really the fit that you're looking for. Um, another thing, when you're standing up in the boot and flexing it, um, you should make sure your heel isn't rising up out of the back of the boot. So you really want to make sure you go with the tightest fit you can without being uncomfortable in your boot. Um, a sloppy boot will break in, it'll be even looser, um, and then you're not getting that exact fit. It really should fit like a glove or you know, a year down the road when you're riding in it, it's going to be sloppy, you're going to lose a lot of response, and it's not going to give you the performance you're looking for.